Hi guys! Welcome back to the Sells Like Hotcakes video series! I really hope you're enjoying our course and our tools and all the efforts we put into getting this community successful. In this short video, we're going to talk about connecting the dots, about combining the power of both worlds, which is selling on Amazon, fulfilling by Amazon, and having your own Shopify store for dropshipping. Basically, we just connect two parts of our course together just in one super powerful combination. What you can basically do is you can be doing drop shipping from Amazon for your Shopify store for other people's products. Plus, you can be fulfilling the orders from your own product that people buy on your Shopify store and then you fulfill with Amazon merchandise that you have in Amazon. This method is super powerful for people who want to go beyond Amazon and to create and expand their brand by having their own large brand and large store of different products. As soon as you have five or more products under the same brand and you have five or more related products, you can not only sell other people's products on your Shopify store, but you can also start selling your own products and expand the collection and enrich it with other people's products so you have a powerful combination of selling your own products and other people's products. Basically, you fulfill your own products by Amazon FBA and you fulfill other people's products by drop shipping from Amazon or from AliExpress or even from eBay. What is the main problem I'm relying completely on Amazon? Let me just show you one of my listings. Here is one of my listings for the airbag and the main problem with Amazon is that I cannot drive traffic to this page, for example, from Facebook. Because, from the seller's point of view, the main problem of Amazon is so-called sponsored or related products here. I can drive traffic here, and what people do, they will just scroll down and see that some competitor is selling exactly the same thing for just $29, which is much cheaper than I'm selling. These guys seem to be selling 10 bucks cheaper. The customer cannot know that the quality of this product might be bad and they don't even have any reviews. They just look at the photo and they assume it's exactly the same thing. It might be just a crappy copycat of my product, but people don't know, so they will probably just click here and I've lost my sale. I've lost the paid traffic and basically, sending your own traffic to Amazon is completely useless unless you give them a big discount coupon. That's why people usually don't send traffic from Facebook directly to Amazon. They send it to their own website to build a list, and then they can send to Amazon only with special coupons so people will make sure to buy from you using a special discount coupon. But if you send without a coupon directly from Facebook to Amazon, they will end up buying your competitor's products, which is cheaper. How to avoid this problem? Easy! Instead of sending to Amazon directly, you can send to your own store, for example, to a page like this where, first of all, you can increase your price and there is no competitor product listed here. So people cannot just simply click on your competitor and buy from them because it's cheaper. He will have to stay on your page and, moreover, you will capture his email address as well. This is a good idea. This is a Shopify store you are seeing right now. Basically, I imported my products from Amazon to Shopify and I'm driving traffic from Facebook to this Shopify page instead of driving traffic to Amazon page. I hope this makes sense. If someone buys here, I will fulfill my order using Amazon FBA. What apps will help you do that? If you go to the Shopify App Store, there are a lot of apps that will simplify your work between Amazon and Shopify. For example, ByteStand will help you automate import from your Amazon FBA account to your Shopify store in just one click. They allow you to put all of your FBA products from Amazon with just one click and create beautiful listings and photos inside your Shopify store. This way, you can simply transfer all of your products from Amazon and make a copy on your Shopify store. And then you can drive your traffic to your Shopify store first instead of driving traffic to Amazon. If you are selling in Europe, then you have International FBA Shipping and ByteStand, which is doing the same thing, but for European markets, Canada and Mexico, if you are doing fulfillment with eBay, Alibaba, Etsy, Walmart, and several other marketplaces, 
that you can try Importify, which will help you import products from these marketplaces into your store. Here is how your battle plan looks like in the long term. You will create your own big Shopify store, which you will combine with your own products that you are fulfilling by Amazon, like we talked before in the course. And you add related third-party products, and you drop ship them from AliExpress or eBay or even also by Amazon. Basically, this will allow you to create a big, giant, professional store in your niche, which will be filled with your own products that you can put like they are preferable or best sellers, so most of them will be purchased for you and you will have the biggest profit margins. And the rest, if you don't have enough of your products, probably when you're just starting, you cannot have a whole story just about your products. You can fill the store with related third-party products and then you can drop shipping by AliExpress or other marketplaces like we discussed in our course. In the end, you have a serious and big store of a huge selection of related products. And of course, don't forget about Amazon affiliate program that we discussed in other video to boost your profits even more. Guys, this is very effective method. And I guess many of you already saw this in action when you have been ordering something from an online store that has nothing to do with Amazon. And the next day, you get a package which is delivered by Amazon Prime. You've been wondering why the heck it came from Amazon if I've been ordering from a completely different site. Now you know the answer. The person was simply doing drop shipping and he basically just ordered from Amazon in your name and that's it. A lot of people are doing this successfully, so why not you as well? The only thing you should consider that Amazon doesn't like if you do drop shipping with Amazon Prime, so don't use Amazon Prime for drop shipping. But you can use Amazon and eBay regular delivery without any problem. You can mark the delivery as a gift so there are no invoices or any other promotions. And this will help you to deliver your products to your customers really fast and effective. I hope you found this video helpful and it will finally give you the whole picture of how you can connect different parts of the course that you have been learning into one big giant store and dominate the market. I really hope you succeed with our course. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach me inside the members area of Sells Like Hotcakes. Visit the wall where you will find the comments and discussions and questions and answers with our experts who are very successful in selling on Amazon and Shopify, and they're always ready to help you and answer your questions. I hope to see you in our course. I hope to see you inside our members area, and I really hope that you will succeed in this e-commerce business. If you like our course, always feel free to share it with your friends. Hit like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye!